Hi family, I'm Dr. Brenda Waburiosti. I'm a licensed daycare provider, a published author of three children's books, an advocate, a consultant, a veteran's wife, and a mother. If you need help setting up your daycare service or just looking for great ideas to incorporate a play-based learning approach as well as learn about research-based solutions to issues impacting education, this is the channel for you. Subscribe, share, like. Thank you. So a parent sent me a text message recently and I just had to share it. I asked her, she gave me permission to share it. When I read that test message, um, you know, I, I got very emotional. Even, even talking about it, I get very emotional. So I'm glad she allowed me to share this text message. And I'm going to read it for you word for word. But before I do that, I just want to tell all providers, daycare providers, childcare workers, you know, it doesn't matter where you're working, if you're in centers or, or in um, in-home daycare, or you're just a babysitter, you're caring for children. I want to tell you that you're doing an amazing job and it takes a special breed of people to work with children day in, day out. And when you get letters from parents or text messages or little thank you notes or gifts, it just uplifts your spirit and it makes you, it's like a reaffirmation that what you're doing, you know, may not be, may not be a straight way, <laughs> a well-paved route to being a millionaire, you know, but there are benefits to it and you're making parents happy you're changing the lives of families you, you know you're changing the lives of children by um working your job every single day actually this also trickles down to the community or to the um, overall society so um that being said i'm just gonna go ahead and read the text message and uh, you do need to get you some tissues because it's very very emotional and um even while i'm reading it i might be choking up a little bit but here it goes um it says i want to from the bottom of my heart thank you if you didn't bring our attention to the speech issue we would have never contacted. And I, I did have to take some things out, you know, just due to privacy con um, considerations. So I don't have the child's name or um, other, um, other personal identifying information. So um, if you didn't bring our attention to the speech issue, we would have never contacted somebody. You are the sole reason the person will get better we would have never known he had a hearing loss if it wasn't for you i can't tell you how much i appreciate you for your experience and observational skills you just changed so um, and this is the name of the child right here but i'm gonna just take it out you just changed the child and our family's life for the better thank you for not giving up on him and loving him and then um, she had some crying emojis and then she said these are happy tears <sighs> when I read this note you know she sent it to me um, like uh, in the evening because she she had to um do some tests with the child and then they discovered that um he needed you know he needed help with his hearing and that's why he was having some issues some behavioral issues and um she sent this to me in the evening probably right after she got back from the I'm, I'm talking about the child's mom probably right after she, um, she got back from the doctor's appointment where they had done rigorous tests to find out you know what is going on now um, 
another thing to to consider you know when um when you look at this note when you look at the situation and of the text message when you when you think more about the context early childhood educators child care providers daycare provider whatever the name is anybody who's taking care of children between the ages of 0 to 12 should be well versed in the developmental levels of children you know you should be able to know what a child is capable of at a certain developmental stage and this I mean, it's, it, there's, there's an age consideration, but also there's a deve developmental part, you know, because sometimes some children are more developed than the age they are in. So that's why the developmental level is very important. Or sometimes some children are less developed than, um, than the age they are in. So it's very important. And, and I can give you an example. One time, uh, I did meet a child who the dad wanted to enroll at daycare. He did not come with the child at that particular time, but he said, oh, sh um, she has special needs. She's fine. She's very friendly. She's non-verbal, but she's fine. And, and I said, okay, we want to meet the child because if you're enrolling any child at daycare, you want to meet them. That tells you, you know, I mean, that first time you meet the child you can kind of assess and see if that child will do well in your program and he did bring the child over and the child was severely special needs and we we already short of teachers so that child would have needed one-on-one -on -one and we couldn't do it so but i still wasn't sure i could i could determine that that child was probably too much for our center but then i had to um, be very sure so i asked for the ip and when i saw the ip the ip said the child was six i think if i can remember but the developmental level of that child was about six months you know so that um, that changed my mind about enrolling the child because we couldn't. We, he, um, the father was saying, hey, she's fine, just turn the TV on and she'll watch TV and she'll be fine, she'll be nice. But that we couldn't do. We couldn't just turn TV on and walk away and leave that child by herself. So all of these considerations are very important. It's very important that as a daycare provider, you know the developmental levels and what a child is capable of doing at a particular age that's how you can help them that's how you can tell the parent hmm i don't think this the way i'm seeing this right now doesn't look you know right doesn't look developmentally appropriate so it's something for us to watch out for and if you can refer these parents um your clients to people who can help them, you know, to um, special services in your area, in your neighborhood where they can easily get help. So um, I just wanted to share this note, you know, because it, it really touched me and it reassured me that I'm doing a great job. I am, I mean, I, I did give myself a pat on my back. I'm doing a great job. I love what I do. I'm enjoying my job. And I'm glad that if I can help the child at my daycare, it trickles down to the family, which in turn trickles down to the community and the society. So if you, if you stay till this end, I just want to say thank you so much. Um, if you're a parent, you have a daycare provider, a child care worker, just be appreciative of what they do. You know, a little word here and there. You don't have to buy big stuff or give them um, cards or, you know, gift cards or anything. Just a kind word here and there can help them. Thank you. for So thank you for staying to, you know, to this end and please remember that uh, prayers get answered, miracles still happen, and every single thing is possible. We love you all. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And until my next video, see you guys. Bye.